movie. It can't be I know Schwarzenegger because he wasn't born it. here. Yeah. It's Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey oh, is God. about to take a run. Yes, yeah, stole, stole it. It's all mine. Matthew McConaughey <laughs> is about to take. He's going to be the governor of fucking Texas if he wants to in a couple years, and he could easily bump that right into fucking uh, president. So many of those people would vote for him. Like, like I feel like he he goes he he. Like, I feel I feel like he gets the dumb was, people from both sides. I was wrong. Like, like, that's his people. Like, Before like, it was, cool. and there's a lot of those. <laughs> I like how I your predictor of success for. is who can get the most dumb people. We just oh, need Matthew to get McConaughey. Matthew dumbs McConaughey. on both yeah. ends. That's he's not good, a bad predictor. He's good success. looking. He's a really good looking guy. He he's only 50, he's fifty one, so he's a spring chicken compared he to can everybody. Probably else. command an audience. Of course yeah. he can. Yeah, yeah he's an actor. Uh, Governor yeah, right. Abbott here is deeply he unpopular as well. Is that true because of the abortion thing? The abortion thing, there's banning Delta 8. There's an issue that we're probably going to lose power again this winter. You remember the big freeze and all the people dying in Texas and stuff? Sure. Well, now it's an they annual didn't do event. anything <laughs> and nobody got fined and a lot of stuff is still not winterized. And if it shuts down, they get a $1 million fine. $10 billion company, by the way, who donated like $500,000 <laughs> to the governor's reelection campaign, who directly oversees. It's like finding somebody with $10,000 a buck. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it's like. So there's a lot of stuff here in Texas. Uh, I mean, our parliament's breaking down and they're getting weird about critical race theory in schools. And, you know, like Texas has like real problems and we're basically fighting a culture war. Even uh, Governor Abbott has challengers from inside the Republican Party. He's got two or three people challenging him in the primaries because he's not Republican enough. But fighting a culture war wins elections, it seems. Regrettably. Or it can lose it if, if people don't like it. We'll see. Takes. Yeah, I mean, it... I guess Biden. I, you know who I want to see run? I want to see a 92 year old Clint Eastwood Ooh. <laughs> run for office. <laughs> he just showed how virile he is in Cry Macho. How? You know, how <laughs> I, let's test previous, how man. bad your health can be and run Colin Powell. <laughs> just oh, you, just you just weekend at Bernie's him. <laughs> like before he, people can vote, he's clearly rotting. <laughs> we can do Bernie's too. You gotta put the headsets on him with the little music and he'll just like zombie around. I, I was looking at a list of celebrities who also like run for office, and their mm. definition of celebrity is so loose. I don't know who these people are. Sonny Bono than, did it. Yeah, I saw Sonny Bono. That I've heard that name, but I don't even really know who that is. You don't know who he Sonny was Bono Sonny is? and Cher. They were popular music in the 70s, I think. They had the show. Um, I, I, why would I? I was born in 91. It's not like I was born in the seventies. Like, come well, on. Well, then why are you so share? close to it? Why, why are you so offended by me not liking? So What's your favorite? I thought, it was, I, I thought it was like cultural. It's like, like it's it's like not knowing who Elvis is, or no. not knowing who Donnie and Marie are. Like, some people are cultured and Osmonds, educated. Yeah. Some some people know about Sonny Bono, and some people don't. <laughs> All right, 